Yep. Okay. We can start. All right. All right. So you you want to start? Yeah. Uh, my premise is just that Mori Jin uh, beats Goku. And, like, I guess my win con would be uh, he duranegs Goku and just beats the shit out of him. And for specifics, this is, like, comp, a comp uh, Mori Jin versus, like, a composite. Yeah, this would be, uh, like, current Mori Jin and everything he can do versus, like, current Goku. All right. I see. All right. So why do you think he could uh wait what was your win con again? I'm sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm saying like he had Duranet Goku and just like beat him the fuck up. Yeah, hey, can I see uh how he dur- durability negate Goku? Okay. Um let me just like send proof that he like knows of the vital points of a person. And then here's him. Doing this is just different levels to his acu uh to his like acupuncture shit. Uh, let me get like give me one more like I I can hear you. I just gotta mute right quick. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I'm just sending everything. Don't worry. Make sure I got the right ones. I need to organize these better. Most definitely. Oh wait, this isn't. Oh, this is lounge. My fault. <laughs> I thought I was sending these in scams. Might be. I can resend all these in here. Yeah, that's completely on me. I don't have more titties. I thought I had the full fight of this one. Make sure I did. But uh, what I sent there is just like Mori Jin knows the pressure point of like the central chest, which is instant death. He also can just shut off your limbs by like hitting it. And then he just generally knows the vital points of an individual. And um knowing the pressure point of numbers, the more numerical patterns I make, the more variety uh, <laughs> I have with my attacks. And then he's doing that to this guy right here. Uh, Ippo. I'm sorry. I'm back. Sorry about that. So you said uh, that. I'm, I'm just like showing you that he like knows of vital points. I'm showing like feats that he does with um his like knowledge of acupuncture. And even like shows that one of the pressure points he knows is the point of instant death, which is the central chest. Not to be decisive. He knows how to use attacks like uh like the death touch. I like could is that what you're saying? Yeah, like he has just, he can just one shot Goku by like uh, hitting him in a pressure point in the center of his chest. He can just shut off limbs. And then he just generally knows the vital points of an individual. And uh, wait, let me show you more. Like he states he can see the weaknesses of an individual by just looking at him. Give me one second. I know I got it in here somewhere. Okay, here we go. And wait, I got something better too. Let me see if I can find it. I have to like look through these. I also, by the way, have. I wait. There's stream. Oh, no. I, I have a, a couple arguments. And wait, let me see this. Like he hits somebody with a, um one of like his vital points in his head, and it causes him so much pain that like he can't even get healed by nanotechnology, and have to like heal him with magic. We sent that scans. Yeah, I'm about to send it now. I'm like getting it in order so I don't like send it out of place for you. Hopefully it's like the full thing. It's not half. Because sometimes the screenshots be weird as fuck. Hopefully this is like in full order and full like showing. Yep, okay. So yeah, like after he gets hit by Mori Jin, he gets sent to like the infirmary to get healed up and they can't do anything about it until like this nigga who uses magic to heal him comes in after. 
So like if Goku <laughs> gets hit, it's just GG. Like he has no way of like healing past this. And he wouldn't uh, and like say if you want to say um like he could just learn it, he would have to survive the technique. So that's like really is, crucial. But what's up? Is uh I was gonna just have a couple arguments. My first argument uh point would be why wouldn't this attack only be working just for Mori Jen being stronger than his opponent, like overall strength that allows him to use this technique. Like like, are you saying, like, it's due to him being more powerful? Yeah, pressure points don't work on, like, strength. That's not, like, how that functions. But I'm saying, It'd be I'm different saying, like, like, he was hitting him, right? But, like, he's, like, specifically saying, like, targeting speed. vital spots. I'm saying, like, speed-wise, like, uh... Like, in regards, like, like, like that he could blitz this vital point. Like, go, like Yeah, I'm not saying... I'm not saying he's gonna blitz Goku. I'm just saying, like, he has this way of, like, putting Goku down. And Goku wouldn't get back up. I'm not saying he's gonna blitz him. I'm not like on the point of like uh, the how he would like hit Goku and etc. I'm just saying that he has this, which will just end Goku. Goku has no counter to like getting his heart blown up with like the instant death, or getting like uh, his arm just taken out of the fight because Morijin hits it and just gets rid of it. All right. So you're just presenting uh, a possible win con. Yeah. Him just doing this. All right. So then, yeah, but that, then my argument would be that uh, Goku, it wouldn't hit Goku. He'd dodge it. And I also have an argument for Goku having durability negation as well. Oh, yeah. Wait, let me see the, this one of him, like, uh, making someone's organs explode. Because this is how this attack works. It, like, attacks the... Uh, it, like, causes blood clots to, like, where your internal organs kind of, like, rupture. And it does damage that way. But wait, I'm pretty sure I got it in here. Or it's, like, in my downloads. Let's see... Not that one. Right here. So like he hits to do with like his uh, acupuncture. Uh, we know it's the acupuncture because he states he can only do it with his right finger. But whoever's sending memes, like I'm gonna just delete these because I need to be able to see these scans. So yeah, so like we know this is not him just like punching the nigga. It's him like using an acupuncture to like attack him. And also in the scan I sent, it like explains that he's using acupuncture uh, on like the far right. It says like a skill used, a skill using acupuncture. Mori learned this when he was at, or however you spelled that name's medical clinic. And he only has to hit them once with this. Like, how does this? Yeah, he just work? needs to hit them one time, and your shit's done. He just needs you one go. That's it. Where? Where does he do it? Like yeah, in, uh, I sent the scan where like he's using it on the old nigga. He hits him once, and he literally states, "I've lost all feeling in my left hand." These niggas love the car. But wait, where is it? Or like oh. even in the, even in the scan I sent you with the dude with purple hair. He uh, touches the dude's forehead and just lays him out. Would that send that in the right order? Oh, yeah. That didn't send. Let me send that in there. But, yeah, he touches the dude's forehead and just, like, lays that nigga out. So, like, it doesn't need to be more than once. He could just do it more than once to, like, uh, enhance the effect of it. But this, like, like, it only damages, like, it doesn't cause, like, significant damage, right? No, it caused significant. Like, it lays this dude out. Like, the dude, uh, the black guy in, like, the little swim trunks. It lays that nigga out. It's like, it wouldn't do, like, a little bit of damage. It, it, it'll fuck that nigga up. Like, nigga's gonna be hurt. Like, I don't know. I, like, I don't know what Goku's gonna do, like, without a liver. You know what I mean? Or, like, without his kidneys. So, like, e even if you want to say, like, it wouldn't, like, kill him off rip, it's definitely gonna do permanent damage that Goku couldn't heal from. And he's not gonna perform as well. So, like, either way, it's, like, fine for me. Here we go. I wanted to get the full yeah, I don't like, know why uh, I sent the thing. But he hits the purple guy once on the forehead. Uh, I wanted to send that. It sent, like, the, the, like, actual after that. But what I sent at the bottom is, like, the full context. He hits the nigga on the forehead once, and it causes him to just, like, lose his shit 
and the nigga like couldn't even get healed by nanotechnology and needed to get healed by magic. So like, when he pokes you in the arm, it eliminates the use of that spot, or like he could poke you in the leg too. Like it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, oh! All right. So yeah, my, he, my, can, he can also heal himself too, but it's not like too important. Uh, I guess like I guess it'd just be important like if Goku doesn't do any like serious in inter- like he can't heal an arm, but he can heal like a broken limb, you know, general uh like fatigue shit like that. Yeah, so, let me correct myself. He can heal the arm. He can heal the arm. I don't think uh they show him like healing fatigue. I don't think I can show that one. So I'm not gonna claim that. Let me see if I'm pretty sure I got it in here somewhere. Here we go. Oh yeah, he can also just cripple you. Like if he if he hits you in the spots, you're ba- you're just crippled. Like you can't do anything. But he can also like heal people with it too and heal himself. He has he has a broken arm here. Yeah, so she's like fucked up, and then he hits her. He's like, "Yo, you can't move." I'm just showing that he can cripple you just flat out. And then later on, when she wakes up, he said, uh, "She states he used the acupuncture to heal me." So we know like his acupuncture can be used to heal, cripple, instant kill. Um, if this wasn't equal stats, he can like fucking uh, basically do Kyle Ken, but that's irrelevant. He can also eliminate his pain, but that's not relevant to this point either. Yeah, well, well, the point I'm not uh, understanding is the point where he hits this. You're saying the guy with the purple hair, right? More yeah. he hits him in uh, a spot with the uh, was it acupuncture, and it crippled him to the point where he couldn't move. Yeah, he was laid out. He had to be taken to the infirmary. He, um, as you can see, like in the scans I sent, it took magic to heal him. All right. So first, a little couple points I have is the first point where you given like the pressure point mm-hmm. uh, where he limited that guy's left arm. I would just argue like something like this wouldn't affect Goku because he just there's like several things that could like help Goku prevent these attack. Okay, yeah, we're not like on the yeah. um. We can like get to prevention later, right? I'm saying like if it hits him, what is Goku gonna do? Oh, then in that case, if it, if it does hit him, then I would just argue Goku could adapt because Goku's able to fight without uh. Like he doesn't need his uh. Like yeah, what is he gonna do if he can't move his entire body? Like, what is he gonna do? I mean, there's stuff. Yeah, all right. I can give give that then. Like, yeah, I'm I saying. I'm saying like I'm just showing like what he can do. I'm saying like what is Goku gonna do, right? If he can't move anything, his arms like like he's just crippled as he did to Sujin, um, the purple, uh, purple. Yeah, purple hair bitch. I can show you what things like he could do. Now you can just tell me. I'm yeah. pretty sure like I know what you're talking about. You don't gotta like show me unless like. Oh, uh, so you're you're you don't know what uh in the 21st no 23rd Budokai tournament and. Like uh, Piccolo c- completely crippled and broke every bone in Goku's body. Basically, like all his limbs. He was like, "Last time you beat my father because he left you that one arm." And then he says that this time I'm gonna make sure nothing like that doesn't happen to me. So he breaks all of Goku's bones, and Goku still finds out a way to beat him. So like he can he can adapt to those situations. Yeah, it's not breaking your bones though, right? It's just you can't move it. Like you cannot move it. It's not like uh, he has to push past like a pain because that's what he's doing against Piccolo. He he's pushing past like pain. But it's not a pain here. You just cannot move. Um, as you can see with like the old guy, the old guy doesn't go, ah shit, like I'm in pain. He just can't move the arm. It's just that simple. So it's not about like can Goku mentally push through it. It's about does Goku know how to uh basically negate the acupuncture done on himself, which he wouldn't know how to do at this yeah. point. I'm arguing that he would just do like perform the same way. Because, yeah, but like, do you see the, the difference the bro- between like the scenario I'm giving here and the scenario you're showing to like counter? You're showing him pushing past yeah, a pain tolerance. And, and, and I'm arguing that they simul- Yeah, you're saying well, they're the well, same. Arguing, well, yeah, I'm saying like the effects that they were under, like like overall, like long term, like when yeah, I'm, I disagree. Short term, they were the same. Like, if if so, all right then. Because uh, you can heal so a broken think, arm. You can heal a broken arm. You can't heal what's done with acupuncture. I'm saying you have like, to, like if, use if, magic in the, moment, in, in the moment in the fight. If he has a broken arm, like he he can't move that arm. The yeah, same but he's way not. It's he not a broken arm though, right? Like you agree, like if your arm is broken, you can still force it to move. Like if you're crazy enough to pull some shit like that off, you can still make it move. It just won't be like as effective as his norm, but you can make it move. Niggas don't move a broken arm because that shit's same. painful. But like, I'm not saying he's gonna be in pain and he can't move it, or his bone or his bone is broken. I'm saying the arm just will not move. It, it's just done. 
is GG'd unless he can find unless he knows how to negate it using his acupuncture. Nervous, his nervous arguing his nervous, his nervous nerve system is like disconnected from it basically. Yeah, like, like it, it just does not function. Momentarily. Yeah, it's not like a pain thing. Because he used it on the old guy, and the old guy has to use acupuncture negation to counter it. So you can't like counter it just using like power of will. Because ne- it never works like that within the series. You either have to know acupuncture yourself to be able to negate it, or you, you I, I don't know, you're fucking God. Like, <laughs> you just can't be beaten. Like, you have to just be like a different nigga, just way above Mori in terms of scaling. Like, you have to be a fucking uh, deity among, among deities to just not be affected by it, I guess. But, like, against the niggas Mori uses it against, it works. Like, it hits the niggas. And this is like assuming that Mori Jin doesn't just one tap him with the instant death anyway. So it's like, either way, I don't see how like Goku's getting out of that. Since he doesn't show like this knowledge of acupuncture that Mori Jin does to be able to negate it. And he wouldn't have enough time to learn how to negate it because he's going to be dead. I don't think he needs to, uh, like what I'm arguing is that he doesn't need to know acupuncture to be able to counter it. I'm saying like he can still like, he yeah, like, you're arguing fine. he's gonna willpower through it because that's what he did against Piccolo. He didn't like do a technique to do it. He just willpower through it. Agreed? No disagreement there. No, he, he, no, he did use. A, I disagree. He did use a technique to do. It. So okay, what did he do then? You the moment when he used the Kamehameha to like move around. No, he didn't. He never did that. Well, no, well, yeah, he shot it through his feet, but that was a different scenario. Yeah, I recall like after he got his arm broken, he just powered through it. Like he didn't do anything like specific. I, I'm, like not, I'm not talking about like I'm not talking about King Piccolo. I'm talking about Piccolo Junior. Yeah, I know the Piccolo Junior fight. I'm saying like I don't recall him doing a technique to overcome, and I just recall him powering through it. I, I'll show you. I'll show you. Yeah. yeah, what was the technique he used? Uh, basically, like it was basically like flying somewhat. Yeah, and it's like he couldn't move his body or anything like that, and he wasn't just powering through it. So I'm gonna send it. And I argue, like, that's a, if he's using like key with it, right? We're arguing like hand to hand, wouldn't that be like kind of against the point? If he's using key? Yeah. Like, if he's using key to overcome it, but we're arguing like martial arts just purely, then like, this, like him like point, using key no. wouldn't be part of it, would it? Uh, I mean, key was, is within his fighting style. Like, Kamehameha is a key, means a martial well, arts. Well, we, like, we said like martial arts, right? But like, if, if a nigga can throw a key blast. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just like that's kind of like against the point. It's not hand to hand anymore. Then it's like it's just equal oh, stats. Yeah, sure. yeah. So I'm saying like from, in this from, instance from, where like he's not even really old, he's like working through it still in the same vein as, as I was saying. He's just like using um he's just like flying in a sort of way. But like what I'm saying here against Mori Jin, he just cannot use that arm, right? And I'm just like you can say like maybe he could find some way to work around that loss of one arm, but then we know Mori Jin could just completely cripple you. So, like, if he can't move his entire body, Mori Jin isn't going to watch him. Like, he's not, like, this isn't like Piccolo. Like, he's not, they're going to be equal. So, Mori Jin's going to keep beating the fuck out of him. He's not just going to be like, okay, I'm done now. Like, I'm going to let you go. So, I don't I don't think Goku's going to do much if he can't move. I think, no, like, Go- Piccolo wasn't, like, like Gohan level cocky. Like, you know how when Gohan beats his enemy, or he's in above and power. No, yeah, Gohan. I know. I'm not saying, like, Piccolo's being cocky, like, right? But I'm saying, like, thought, in this instance. He thought he, he, thought he had Adamite. Goku, like I'll show you. Uh, well, yeah. no, I remember what you're talking about. He had thought like atomized, and then like Goku pops up and like hits his shit. Like, yeah, basically what happens was like Piccolo charges up a beam and his dead crippled body, and he's blasted it down. And then after he does that, the body isn't there anymore. So yeah, like, so like Goku surprised him, right? Like, why would that happen against Mori Jin? Wait, because uh, what what he what he was doing was I was, like what I'm arguing is that. Uh, was that then that that'd make like your point well, even well, like a bit less, argue, right? Well, overpowered Piccolo with uh Goku's adaptation of what overpowered him wasn't just in terms of uh no, this was definitely in terms of just willpower. He just powered through it and used like a move to like work through it. Cause because he's not using like and even then he does this again, like you just said, he Piccolo thought he was dead, so that's even worse. Like he just snuck the nigga. You think this would still be as effective if Piccolo knew he was still alive? Do you think like this plan would have I mean, still like, worked out? 
he would have outsmarted him in some ways. No, uh, because like no, but Piccolo, I'm like, so yeah. we can say like, okay, Goku's a smart nigga, so maybe he would have like outsmarted niggas. But it's been cases where like he definitely wouldn't have done as well without some type of assistance or some line of luck there. Like if Beerus just decided to wipe Goku out, he wouldn't have went Super Saiyan God. I don't believe Goku would have figured out a way. You know what I mean? Because he didn't. So like I'm saying, in the order of events to happen, Goku needed this uh, this moment where Piccolo thought he was dead because otherwise Piccolo would just kept firing on a nigga. He would just beat his ass. But this moment allowed Goku to catch him off guard. But against Mori Jin, it's not going to be any level of distraction there for Mori Jin to fall for that. And I would also argue and experience Mori Jin is a lot more above Goku. How so? Do you know he's been like fighting for centuries? No. Yeah, I got you. I'm sending it. He like started a war way back in the day. I don't see any scans now. How old is Mori? Uh, he's, he's, like he's, right he's, now he's, in the story, physically ignoring like his godlyhood, he's eighteen. But like in his actual like uh, overall age, he's like centuries years old. It's like that Zeno thing going on, Grand Yeah, it's like it's yeah. So just what I'm showing here is them like talking about the Jason Dong. That's what Mori Jin is, uh, and that's why like in the panel I'm showing you at the bottom, the dudes like if you wouldn't have started that war, because back in the day Mori Jin had started a war, and I'm just showing that this happened here. I would argue that he's been around, but he hasn't gained all the knowledge from it because he seems to be unaware what this guy is referring to. Yeah, this version of Mori Jin doesn't have his memories yet. This isn't like uh, his memories fully back yet. He gets his memories back later on when he's fighting like a nigga named Jed Leo or some dude like that. He still doesn't remember yet, though. Like in this fight, he literally stays like, I don't remember yet. Uh, if I get back my memories, I'll apologize to you. He doesn't actually like remember yet. So that's fine. And even then, like, say if you want to go there, he doesn't even look surprised here. He's just like, what? Like, this wouldn't, like, debunk him having um, uh, the experience, right? All this meaning that he doesn't remember the event properly. But, like, Mori Jin's, uh, as a person, just innately has skills that he, like, has... Uh, when he fights, he just develops. He just gets good from fighting, like, as he keeps doing it. And we see that throughout the series when he learns, like, the recoilless uh, re-taekwondo. And surpasses his grandfather. So, like, we know, like, Mori Jin is someone who just evolves through battle. But I'm just saying, like, if we're accounting for experience in battle, Mori Jin would have a lot more than Goku. Since he's been doing, he's been fighting gods for centuries. Like, he would just out-experience the dude. So, Goku's, <clears throat> like, at best would have, like, what, 100 plus years of experience? Mori Jin has, like, fucking thousands, bro. Like, he's, he's way ahead of that nigga. I just, uh, well, no, my next argument would be then that he would just like go, even though like he has this this much time, Goku has learned like things that Goku has learned things like that t- takes up that amount of time to learn them. He's learned them in like the course of seconds. Like, yeah, he's fifty. Yeah, he's, Mori Jin has learned like styles in seconds too. Like he's looked at uh, I can show you this. He's looked at Mira Yu style and Dewey style and did them. And even Mira stated that like he's copy, he's imitating my ability. And is it consistent? Yeah, I got you. I'm about to send it. So, like, uh, Mori Jin can also copy abilities. And the reason I'm showing, like, the experience, right? I'm just saying that Goku wouldn't be able to outsmart Mori Jin. Not at all. I'm arguing that he, that he, that, go, like, uh, that, like, Mori Jin is significantly above Goku in martial arts. Experience. You think, like, centuries of experience in combat wouldn't be whatever time you could bring up for Goku. It ain't, yeah, it ain't touching the centuries. I, I don't think, yeah, I think it, uh, yeah, I think it doesn't make him significantly higher than Goku in martial arts. You don't think, like, fighting in combat longer than someone else would mean that you would have more experience? Not in this case, no. Okay, why not? Because uh, Goku's ability, how he learns martial arts, like, by eight, by, like, what is it, like, eight years old, he's already mastered Kung Fu. And like uh, then from that point on, he's learning like techniques that took like people like fifty years to master. He learns them in like three seconds. Then it's consistent. Like 
and it's like consistent him consistently him learning this stuff like this fast like other people before him has taken them like three years to do something that took him like a day yeah Mori jen has done the same thing he's imitated like two I'm saying, other like, people's like, fighting style like, this, and he, he like, continues to imitate other people's fighting style too I'm saying, like, this is extremely consistent and it's like in cases like, yeah, I know. Um, it's the same thing for Mori Jin. He has extreme case. He has like consistent cases and copying abilities with no so? issue. You said what? I said where so. In the scan I seen here, she literally states that he copied both of their abilities, and he stated uh, he imitated he imitated skills by seeing. That's a weird sentence. By seeing them only once, they they don't have the them for some reason, but seeing them only once. What kind of monster is he? I just argue that uh, would he like he'd have time to like. Practice. Yeah, but that's not what Mira states. She states that he did it in one go. He only saw it once and he did it. So like, unless you're saying like Goku only saw the command at once and he did it. So there's there's other th uh, well yeah yeah. So I'm just saying like Mori Jin also has this consistency for being able to copy abilities on the fly. To like combine that with the time, he realistically would have more experience than Goku. Then my next uh, like defense on this would be that, uh, like especially with his MUI, like the, those like his MUI. What was it else was it? Is it like ability to see without his eyes and all those stuff? Those also give him like the, like the, those fill the gap. Basically. Yeah, like it, it's no worry though. Like Mori Jin doesn't have to like blind him. He could just like touch that nigga's forehead and make him have a fucking brain seizure and just end him there, like, touch his heart and he dies instantly. I think you wouldn't be able to touch him. Okay, why wouldn't I be able to touch him? Because of MUI, you won't be able to find him. Because, like, his body will react. You know, like, in equals, like, when, when someone's equal to Goku, they're able to touch him. You remember, like, more, uh, you remember, like, Goku versus Jiren in T.O.P.? Mm hmm Yeah, Jiren touched him. And it, uh, Weiss literally states it's a battle of attrition, so they had to have been equal or relative to one another at that point. Otherwise, I'm we should have just said, well, like, one against the other. Since the, technique got, uh, since the technique got better, like, his body is... That his body, like, like that's a different MUI. He, he's made it stronger. It's better now. Yeah, can you show me that like, MUI can just, just, like, surpass power gaps now? Uh, like, are you yeah, saying, like, MUI would, would work the exact same way if someone was, like, as strong as Goku or stronger? Yeah, I'm saying like it, it, it can feel. I'm saying, MUI yeah, can, can you show me that? Can you show me like Goku fighting someone equal or relative to himself and it being like, it, I'll, it I'll show you him. I can show you him uh, beating somebody who's stronger than him with MUI. Okay, who was stronger than him? Are you saying Granola? Yeah, because he beat, he was beating, he was, even with, uh, he was just stronger than Granola when he went MUI. He just was stronger than him. No, he wasn't. He was like, Granola was. Granola was still more physically powerful than him. He wasn't. Granola literally attacks like weak spots. So it wouldn't even be a case of AP. It's just a case of Dura Negation. Dura Negation doesn't scale your AP. It's supposed to be Especially like above with, your AP. With the specifications of his wish, he would logically be stronger than Goku. Or like stronger than whatever. Well, we Goku know, well, Goku we know that isn't the case though at that point because he isn't even using his full power yet. So that doesn't work. What? Well, Granola isn't using his full power against MUI Goku. When when they're fighting fifty percent, yeah, yeah, he literally states like I split myself in half because I didn't want to use all my power until like I got to Frieza. So Goku wasn't even fighting yeah, a full know. power nigga. So you couldn't say like they're relative or equal because why would Granola feel the need to, you know, end the cloning shit? Like he obviously felt at a disadvantage to Goku and it wasn't just due to like him being able to dodge. It was due to him being just stronger and faster. So he couldn't do anything. And we know MUI my is main, a power. My main, my main argument is that MUI fills gaps. Like it, 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 yeah, it, but it, you it, haven't presented that. You show me like Granola who's getting the dog shit beat out by MUI. That doesn't show like equalness. I'm saying like before, before, before uh, he uses MUI, like he's at a dis Goku's at yeah. a disadvantage. He Nah, no. So the reason why Goku's like getting bodied on is just because like Granola can neg uh, durability. He's like and specifically he, targeting weak spots. Than, and he's also stronger than him, though, is what I'm saying. Well, he couldn't be like just flat out stronger because like Goku hits him with an attack and Granola feels it. Like Granola's actually like hurt by it. 
Why wouldn't he be stronger just because he got hurt by somebody? Yeah, if I'm stronger than you and I get hurt, I can't be strong. Like that doesn't make any sense. It does. I, I argued it does because like in that in, I get an example like uh, if I if uh, you can lift like 500 pounds. Yeah, like, lifting strength wouldn't punch. correlate to like punching strength, so I don't feel like that's analogous. All right, I, I can use a different one then. If like a a three year old hits uh like it hits me in the eye, my eye swells up right because like it just smacks me in the eye like i'm playing with it messing with the baby or whatever and it hits me in my eye and i get like a blood vessel pops or something like that then that, does, that doesn't mean the yeah that means that strong. baby's as strong as you he's able to like put your ass down like that it's, mean? especially in the case of dragon ball if you're stronger than somebody you don't get hurt by them that's like the whole that, that, that's dragon ball in a nutshell like relative okay yeah. but, equal okay but stronger and you I still mean, get you, hurt by the person that doesn't make any sense that's not how Dragon Ball like shows itself in in terms of like fights and like how do you do where, power um, and shit. From where? Like where do you get that? Uh, okay, uh, we agreed that like Jiren was stronger than like base Goku, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if base Goku start punching Jiren, he wouldn't hurt Jiren. No problem with that. Because he doesn't start hurting Jiren till he uses MUI. So it wouldn't make any sense to say other forms could hurt Jiren. He can hurt Jiren without MUI. In the TOP, he could hurt Jiren without MUI. Yes. Yeah, show me, show me without MUI that he hurts Jiren. Give me a second. I have to find it. That's good. Yeah, because I remember the fight, like, quite well. He, like, tries to do, like, a Kyle Ken move, and it doesn't work. And he gets, like, beat the fuck up on again. You would agree that Vegeta is stronger than, uh, I mean, Goku is stronger than Vegeta throughout the TOP, like base to base or Super Saiyan to Super Saiyan Blue? Base to base? No. Or, no, I'm talking about, my bad, Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Blue in the tournament power. Like they're, they're relative, like they're the same strength. Uh, is there anything that shows him being relative? I think Topo says, like, he's just about as strong as Goku. I think. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so in, uh, Vegeta and his Super Saiyan Blue form was able to hurt Jiren. Okay, yeah, show me that. Okay. All right, wait, are you talking about when he goes? That's not his blue. That's not like his base blue. I'm not talking about blue evolution. He hurts him. In, yeah, you got to show me that. I don't recall that. All right, let me get it. Wait, just to be clear, because I, I actually may remember talking about you talking about the anime? Or are you talking about the yes. manga? Anime. Oh, you talking about like he punches Jiren in the gut? It's and, and then he kicked him and it also hurt him. They pushed him back. Yeah, you know Jiren, you know he states like Jiren isn't going all out, right? That's not hundred percent Jiren yet. I mean he's still able to hurt him, like Yeah, but knows, no, so my original thing was right, show me someone being stronger and getting hurt by someone weaker. But if Jiren yeah. isn't even going at if, his if, max, if right? Jiren was he's and, and we see Jiren overall, like later, just uh, beating. Yeah, because he increases in power. He doesn't. He doesn't power up at that point. We're talking about where he just starts beating up and like. Yeah, no, he does. Like, uh, wait, I actually noticed him talking about. Because like Vegeta literally states, "You're not hitting as like you're not even as fast or as strong as when you was fighting Kakarot." So he wasn't even like going against a strong Jiren anyway. Let me see if I can find this. It should be in here. Let me see. It's probably one of these servers. Or a ghost. You know what I'm talking about? Can you like find that if you uh if you could find it quicker and I can? Wait, what happened? You remember this you remember the anime scene where like Vegeta states he's not um Vegeta like says oh, Jiren isn't hitting his heart? Yeah. 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 I'm aware of that. But yeah, uh, so what I'm saying is like in this event, he's this isn't even a strong Jiren. So this wouldn't mean that like Jiren is stronger than Vegeta still. It would mean at this point where he gets hit, it, it doesn't mean anything. 
Because it's not even Jiren, like, using the same level of power. No. Nah. So I'm saying, like, this isn't a good example to, like, like uh, speak on my point. Because I can show you, like, uh, for example, Mori Jin fights someone that he admits is stronger than himself. And um, he still wins the fight. And then it's even stated he does it using skill. Wait, let me find it. It might be in my downloads, because I literally just looked at this shit. Okay, I'm sending it. So this would be like an example. Uh, let this bitch load up. <laughs> this would be like an example. So like he's kicking, Um, this is Dean, that's Dan. Jean turned into Dan after the like after some shit happened. Just to let you know, this is still Jin. Uh, Jin. It's just he's in human form. Uh, I guess would be like the word for it. Which one is uh, Jin? So Dan, Mori Dan, the blue hair nigga is Mori Jin. He's just blue hair now. And um, the nigga that he's like the little eye shits, that's Dean. But he's stating that like uh, Mori Jin is too weak to even do any damage to him. And um and like this is that then I show like um at the end of their battle is him stating like Dean you're strong but your greatest weakness is lack of experience, so like he beats Dean due to like having this experience and even like this other nigga states, uh anyway this is very interesting the guy who had the greatest body in the world loses his power and becomes the ultimate skill master, and this is in reference to Mori Jin because he was originally a god he lost that power due to getting screwed over and then he basically became Dean um. Dean? Dan? What did I say? Dan. Uh, as, like, his suppressed form forever. Or not forever. He can turn into, like, his, you know, monkey shits. But he's normally in his blue form. But, yeah, like, he beats Dean due to, like, having this uh, skill advantage, this uh, experience advantage rather than power. So that would be, like, an example of showing it, like, uh, Goku or like Vegeta or just someone in a Dragon Ball. Well, I guess for this point, Goku can like beat someone stronger than himself despite being like obviously weaker. I would, uh, due to the logic from uh, God of High School. I got you, boss. Like from the, their universes. Wait, did someone mute you? If you're not aware, uh, you're muted, D boss. Okay, that was weird. I had muted myself for a second, but then it said I was like server muted, which is kind of weird. But uh, what you were saying, dog? Saying that you're saying that uh, from the God of High School logic, since somebody could beat another character who's stronger than him from individual, I mean, uh, from overall skill, that that would apply to Dragon Ball as well. No, I'm just saying that Mori Jin has a feat where he shows that he can beat opponents stronger than himself using his skill. Because Mori Dean, like, literally states, but you can't damage my ar my armor suits at all in your current state. And when he says, like, your current state, he's saying, like, in the blue-haired state. Because his real state is the one I've been showing you previously where his hair is, like, brown. Oh, this is, like, against the argument of Sand. How Sands get stronger than they fight, and the longer the fight lasts, the stronger he'll get. No, I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm just saying. No, I'm saying like, this is what the argument is against. Like, what was this like? The, oh, the, this the, argument is just uh, because you stated I asked you like, has Goku beat? Has anyone like in Dragon Ball fought someone stronger and still hurt him? Because you said like Granola is stronger than Goku, but Goku's able to hurt Granola. So I'm saying like that doesn't add up to like him being stronger. And I'm saying like durability negation, like targeting someone's weak spots, wouldn't even correlate to like you being like for real stronger. Uh, because like it's just you targeting a weak spot, like it's a spot not protected, so it wouldn't be a durability. It wouldn't be like an AP feat anyway. Because the whole like, that, if I'm uh, attacking your vital spot, I'm attacking a spot that isn't guarded. I argue that with Goku's MY there wouldn't be any vital spots for these the acupuncture or whatever and stuff like that to attack Goku at. Yeah, his MY like that uh, quality doesn't even last forever, so Mori Jin could just wait it out. Goku doesn't have a way to like one tap him, so that's fine. I mean, like I, I, he can't like just sit there and wait it out. Goku, no, he could just like not hit him with it for a bit. Like that's fine. It doesn't and last forever. Entire, I mean, for that for that entire point, then Goku would just be winning, right? How would he not? How like how would he? What what he's gonna do to one shot him? 
Cause, cause you said I'm saying like he'd just be beating him up. He, uh, Maury Jim. He, yeah, you know Maury Jenkins like shut off his pain receptors. Sure, but that still doesn't mean that uh, the body isn't damaged. Yeah, if he can't feel the damage, he's not gonna care about it. Like he won't feel it. He will feel the effects afterwards, but he won't feel the effects during. They only last for two hours, right? Yeah, he could just make it last for two hours. And MUI's quality doesn't even last that long anyway, so he's gonna out. He's gonna win anyway. And then Mori Jin can also just heal the injuries that's Goku doing to him, unless he's like he like pokes a hole through the nigger or some shit. But even then, I mean, he can like seal up the bleeding using his acupuncture, so that's fine. I mean, I, I just said that he could hit hit uh, Goku with his vital spots as well. Yeah, show me that Goku has like knowledge of vital spots. Okay. Are you talking about like when he does a neck chop? To who? To, uh, it's like an Indian guy, but like a black guy. Oh, no. Uh, he did that? I thought he yeah, did. Yeah, he, um, he neck chopped the guy, and that's like him. Um, it's like a, in Dragon Ball, it's like you hitting a pressure point because you're hitting the back of the neck to like shut him off. He, I mean, he can do that, but that was uh, my overall point. If you want, if you have a defense against that point, you can give it though right now if you want. Like him attacking pressure points, Mori Jen's just more skilled than anything he is. But I'm saying if if Mori Jen is at a point where like he can't. Like Mori Jen can still evade attack, like attack, MUI yeah. Goku's attacks. Like he can still just dodge it. I mean, like it, he can't keep it up for long though. Yeah, how uh, how long I mean, would you I'm say? Not, wait, hold on. So we see in the panels like Goku and fighting Granola. MUI doesn't last that long, so that's fine. You're saying like Goku can knock Mori Jin out before MUI like loses its like um its invulnerability to like getting vital spots hit or something. I mean, I, I, I'm arguing it, MUI lasts long enough to be able to be stable. To, uh... Yeah, can you give me a time? Because even Goku stays it doesn't last long. So it couldn't be like longer than a minute. Like <laughs> it has to be like a than... short form. You said like 30 seconds? Like you mean 60, 59 seconds are shorter? That's how long, I mean, long you think Ultra Instinct lasts? Yeah, I'll say like a minute or yeah, I even highball it to like two minutes. That's fine. But I wouldn't say like it's Based lasting off. like five minutes because like the Goku Granola fight doesn't come off that long. Why would you be... Like, why, why would you say two minutes? Uh, no, that's just me being nice. Like, I'm saying, like, there's no there's no time for it. But if I was to say a time, like, hypothetically, I would say a minute. And even then, that's kind of, like, me being iffy with it because, like, no, I think a minute's fair. Probably, like, a couple more than a minute. Because I could let him talk for a bit. I don't think that could have went by that quick. But then it's like, how long was it when Granola noticed? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I probably see like a minute. Unless you provide like some definite like time on it. But like we can That's both be bullshit if like you said, like it'll last five minutes and you can't like prove it it last five minutes. Yeah, I don't have a I'm trying to see if there's anything I can use from the manga like to calculate it. Like Goku states he has like make this quick with granola and shit. So it couldn't be a form that lasts that long. Like it really wouldn't make a lot of sense if that bitch lasts like some like close to an hour. That bitch gotta be within the minutes. So I think I might find a way to somehow like give us a better estimate of how long. And I also lasts. show like Mori Jin can just instinctively react to attacks. Got any disagreements with that? Want to see it? Yeah, I definitely want to see that. Okay. That's
know what I'm saying? I like scroll through all these bitches. Mm -mm. Okay, cool. Let me get all these together. Oh, yeah, you also know that Marie Jane can, like, neg precognition. Yeah, I remember that from the last debate. Yeah, so, like, none of, like, Goku's, like, uh, prediction abilities would affect him. Because he can, like, outplay it. Make sure I'm not saying it. Okay, cool. Here, let me send on this. Let me send these first, and I'm gonna send the other ones too. Okay. So, like, here's a moment where, like, Mori Jin admits that he can't do anything to block the attack. But then he instinctively dodges it, and he even states he don't know why he did it. His body just acted. Um, here go like another instance of him just reacting. Okay, let me like show you that he got like snuck on this because he did not expect the old man to do him like that. Let me show you like the doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, I'm sending this one too. It's like Mori Jin gets snuck by this old man who attacks him and he still like has the um his body just reacts and counterattacks and saved his life. Any contentious with this? Where he uh does what? My bad. I was trying to find Yeah, I'm just count. showing that like Mori Jin can react instinctively. Like his body just reacts to movements. Even movements that he himself states that like he can't avoid or, or can't be blocked. And then in the second one, it's just him reacting to like a sneak attack and saving his own life. Can't be blocked. And does he block the skill that can't be blocked? Is it, is yeah, he blocks it, and that's why she asks, how did you do that? And he states, I don't even know. Let me just show like more stuff for his like prediction and shit. All right. Here's him like uh, predicting a teleport. So I can find the one with April. Here's him being able to like to read someone's muscle movements by just being like in contact with them.
I mean, you said you already know what I'm talking about when I showed you the precog stuff. So let me see. Uh, let me see. I remember that. Yeah, so I'm just showing like his prediction and like ability to react to stuff, even without uh, having knowledge of it, is like just as good, if not a bit greater than Goku. To the point, like Goku wouldn't have no advantage over him to where like it'd make a difference. With the MUI. Yeah. And especially in this case, right? Let's say I agree that like their prediction of uh, like MUI and like Morijin's capabilities are like equal. Uh, MUI doesn't stay at the same quality anyway. So like Morijin still wins no matter what. It'd just be a battle of attrition and like Goku, uh, Goku just can't win that. He's not going to get the W there. Yeah, he, he can't hold the quality. Yeah. Quality. And in terms of like, uh, wait, I didn't even show you this one. He can knock niggas out using wind uh, from his kick. So he can like do a kick. The wind pressure that kick would like shake your brain. And just knock you the fuck out. Goku can do stuff like that too. So I mean. he can like use the wind. Has he like has he used the wind pressure to knock someone out and like shake their brain? He used it against like stronger opponents. Like can rock them a bit, and also like used it to knock people out as well. Yeah, I don't recall like him like using it to shake someone's brain using the wind pressure. He knocks them out. Well, yeah, technically it's not. It is shaking their brain if he knocks them out. Well, not really. He can just hit them hard. <laughs> like if he if he just hits them really really hard, I don't. When uh when you knock somebody out, like it's based. No, you can like, if I hit you in the liver real hard, you gonna you gonna go down. You gonna be you gonna be knocked. You gonna be laid out. I'd be unconscious, like knocked out. Yeah, if I hit you in the liver, you you sleep. Wait for sake of fairness, uh, uh, what's it called? Do y'all want this hand of Goku doing the wind thing? Yeah, send that. Okay. So we can like look at it. I, I want to see. It's basically, best. it's basically the fight with Chi Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was talking about. He knocked her out with that. He like the little, little like he wasn't even trying. Then he also did more stuff that like. He, yeah, he I would say that's him just attacking people with wind pressure, not like shaking their brain. Where's the uh, kick scan, or is it coming? Not since oh, yeah. in there, since scans. It's uh when he's kicking this girl. And he explains it. It's just like out of order. So you read like uh, you would just like see him do the kick. She falls down. Then he explains it. I shook your brain with wind pressure, so she couldn't even like move because you know like if you um if your brain gets shooken up, you don't just get knocked out all the time. Your brain um it fucks with your body movements, and you actually just like fall to the ground. And like Mori Jin actually does this within combat, and this is something like he does. But Goku doesn't attack people using the wind pressure to like shake their brains. He just hits them with it. He doesn't use it to that like level of like skill to like knock niggas out with it. I mean, he uses it though. Like, it's still like it does. It's not no, but you like, like okay. Just because someone uses a gun, it doesn't mean that they can use at the same level of like dead shot unless they've shown that same level of skill. So just because they do uh, the same thing doesn't mean the same skill comes with it. That's like a false equivalency. You would have to like prove Goku actually uses it in the same way as Mori Jin to make this argument, but he—it's not really a showing that he does. He just hits niggas with it. All right, uh, I said uh, go to five minutes. So I couldn't find the subs. So like, yeah. No, I said it's in. I'm watching it. Oh, oh yeah, five minute mark. All right. Um. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, Goku explains like that was intended just to like knock her out of the ring.
somebody streamed it. Oh no, my bad. Never mind. I messed it up. Though. Yeah, just like go to five minutes. That's like right when it starts. Actually, no, I, I'll give you this, right? So Goku can, like, use the wind pressure the same as Mori Jin. I just say, like, Mori Jin just outskills him. I think outskill him, but they can do the same thing, like, here. Yeah, so right. uh, what I'm saying right. is this, right? So against like Mori... Him. Wait, what did you say? I'm on go. But yeah, against Mori Dean, he outplays his uh, precognition, right? So he's going to, like... Uh, and he also doesn't have telegraphed attacks. So, like, it'd be no way of Goku knowing the kick is coming because there's no, like, sign of it coming. You just get hit by it. His body would just dodge it, though. Yeah, but his body needs, like, some indication. If, if it's not, like... So, he's going to, like, dodge the initial kick, right? But how would he know of the wind pressure? Because we know UI Omen didn't even react to, like, the magic bubbles the fucking Moro put around his arms and shit. So, like, unless you're saying, like, UI just knows of every single thing coming at it, no matter what, like, even the wind... Which is, I feel like there's no way he could distinguish aggressive win from, like, normal win. So then Goku's just dodging everything every fucking five seconds, which wouldn't make any sense. So, like, he would initially think, okay, it's a kick coming at me. Let me dodge. Like, his body's going to dodge the kick. But then it's the wind that's going to come to and shake his brain. So he has to be able to know both is coming. And since Goku's not even at, like, a master level of UI, there's no reason to believe that, like, uh, he just is perfect in that regard. And he just knows to distinguish, like, an attack from wind from fucking anything. Like, I don't believe you would be able to prove that. What to my scan? I had this. Did I save? I remember the fight, so I can like go grab it. But it should be in my downloads or screenshots. Making me mad, Winky. Let me see if I can scroll up and find it. Fuck it. I remember the fight. I'm gonna just go grab it. I could have sworn I saved it, bro. That is so irritating. Yes, indeed. Here. Scroll, 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 scroll. Yep, let me just scroll. I can find this shit. Okay. Found it. So yeah, he just attacks while like getting into position. All right, so uh, I have a new uh, presented an argument earlier for uh, his instinctive ability or whatever. Yeah, um, the scans I'm sitting here is just showing that like Goku wouldn't be able to uh, read it in any way. I guess maybe you could argue MUI would sense the kick, but you would also be fight it like MUI could sense like the wind pressure he's going to be throwing at him too. The first argument that I don't think the instinctive ability would help him much. 
Okay, why wouldn't it help him? Because uh, Goku is able to be opponent with the same level as M- M- I mean, with a higher level of MUI than he has. Okay, who is he beating that has a higher level MUI than he has? Moro. Moro has a higher level of MUI than Goku? Goku really yeah, thinks he could beat him. Yeah, because uh, Moro has Mirus's level in UI and Mirus is an angelic attendant, so like his MUI would be stronger. Are you are you saying why? Why would that be the case? If Goku beat if Goku's like, yeah, I could beat you up, Moro, with Mirus's power in you, how would Moro well, have a better MUI? When, when did he say that? Yeah, I got you. Cause it's like right before he turns to planet eating Moro, uh he's like, Yeah, Goku, what are you gonna do now? Goku's like, I ain't worried about you, nigga. So, like, he wasn't any higher than him, even with the fucking boost from Mirrors. Like, Goku was mad confident he had beat the Schmitty out of that nigga. And the only reason he didn't beat Planet anymore was because, like, he couldn't destroy the planet. And he didn't know about, like, the crystal being a weakness. But there's, like, nothing in the chapters to show that, like, uh, that, like, Moro has, like, a higher level of MUI than Goku. I mean, I, it's lo- it would just like, logically It wouldn't. Add- are, are you saying Mirus is the same level as, like, Whis? I'm saying Mirus is higher than Goku. Yeah, he couldn't be. He... he he got absorbed, and we know Moro has 7-3 ability, so he absorbs the power, speed, etc., and the MUI, and he still lost to Goku. Goku was like, I'll fuck you up. So he couldn't have been greater. Like, not at all. His power plus Moro's didn't even... Goku wasn't worried. So we know right there they couldn't be the same level. They gotta be... Mirrors couldn't be that cold. <laughs> Well, I'm just going off the fact that he had to teach Goku how to do it. Like, he yeah, he, okay, he had to, like, teach him, right? That doesn't mean, like, Goku... Why, why wouldn't Goku have not surpassed him now? Like, Mor- Mirus literally states your teaching is done after this. You remember that scene? You're like, where Mirus is dying? Uh, no. I don't, yeah, I, don't. I got you. I'm gonna show it. He literally states, like, uh, this is gonna be your final lesson. You know, you're gonna be, like, at a level... You know, you won't fall to no one else. And he had to, like, be talking about himself, too. He couldn't just be saying that, like, just for him. Because he knows, like, Goku will want to box that nigga or something, so. He's, like, confident that after this, Goku won't be able to lose to, like, anyone. Let me check it. Plus, combine, like, the feats of, like, Moro literally absorbing Mirus's power and still losing, so. Even if you, like, you find that part iffy. Uh, it literally is just by feats alone showing that Mirrors couldn't have been stronger than Goku. Yeah, all right. I'll just go move on and say like, well, it, it was a, it was at least at the same skill he was. No, yeah, he does say like we're at the same level, but I have magic. But you know, he's still like, uh, but that's like moral making this assumption. Goku dismisses it. He's like, yeah, then try a little harder. Like he's still not worried, so they couldn't be equal to one another. If like Goku's like, yeah, I'll still fuck you up. He dismisses it with. Yeah, so he says, like, we're equal, but I have magic that gives me a leg up. And he says, you think so? Then try a little harder. And then even Moro is noting, why are you so calm? I want you quaking in fear. So, like, Goku isn't worried about fighting Moro. Um, and, like, if they were equal, he would be somewhat worried. Because what Moro would be saying would be correct. Moro would have, like, equal stats to Goku plus magic, which would give him a realistic edge. But Goku doesn't feel like that matters at all. He's still confident he will beat the dog shit out of Moro. I, I would I mean, it's like a psychic game. Yeah, but we know that, like, it's nothing showing that it's just him bullshitting, though. He's just flat out saying, like, he won't lose to Moro. It isn't like he's trying to, like, fuck with Moro's head. Because fuck with Moro's head would just be beating him. He doesn't need to lie. Like, if he can beat him, he can beat him. 
I'm saying like in a situation where he thinks like uh like uh well he's like I'm losing to MUI, Morals losing to MUI, then he thinks, uh well I'm just gonna use it too. So now that we both got MUI and I have magic, that's gonna make me uh that's gonna make my opponent nervous. So now that he sees that his opponent's not nervous, then he would like start to get nervous. Like what does he have up his sleeve? It's like the same situation I get put in if I like if like in a separate debate, like instead I'm debating and I don't think a scan exists, and then somebody says, I got you, and I'm gonna go find it, right? Then mm-hmm. then you get worried, like somewhat. It feels like Yeah, but in this scene, like it's not shown like Goku's trying to like psych him out. It's just Goku saying, like, it doesn't matter, try harder to beat me. He's just making like a statement. He's just saying, like, you're not at my level, don't believe that. Then we can move on to the next point. Then I don't have any more arguments on this one. Okay, so like with that, I feel like um I've like I got in through like MUI just isn't really that good when someone's equal to Goku because like Jiren's able like to catch that nigga, and like the only time MUI is shown having like this advantage is when he's like above them, like with Granola, or like with Moro. Like he has to be above them niggas to do anything. But like when they're equal, niggas are able to touch him like Jiren did. And like say if that point didn't fall through, then like. He can't hold it for that long. And Goku doesn't have a one shot to like end Mori Jin. Mori Jin could just like dodge and react to all his attacks. And then like the moment Goku like runs out of his MUI because he can't stay in it forever, he's just gonna be like fatigued as fuck. And or just vulnerable to getting like instant death. Yeah, I can give the debate to you then. I am prepared. I should have prepared. I mean, I mean, what I was trying to do earlier was find a calc for the uh, MEY. What I was going to use is